This is the great legend, and I'm coming at you live. And I've got a very special announcement to make. I got a very special video that I'm making right here, right now, coming at you live, only here on the Great Legend Show. Are you going to find the news of the hour? The news of the hour. Let me first send a shout out to the host of Comic Talk Podcast, the Captain Cummings. You know, I'm going to put a link. Um, in my video description just for you and all of you at home because I know you want to see my boy Captain Phil do his thing, all right? And, you know, excellent Comic Talk podcast that he puts on week in and week out just for you viewers at home. So stick around. Don't be a clown. I'm going to put this stuff right down there, people. All right, so what I did... I was um, just, I'm really just excited, and, and there's a little bit, this is honest to God truth, uh, things that I was looking into today. Um, another quick shout out goes to 1984 Terminator. Um, check him out. I'm going to put a, a, script or a link to his channel. Um, he's been putting up some excellent reviews. He did some reviews about A plus X, um, and he was selling it. He was selling it. I, I was almost this close to ordering. Almost this close. Wait, that close. Almost that close to ordering that book. Um, also, a lot of people have been talking about Indestructible Hulk. I was this close to ordering that book. But guess what? I'm not ordering those books. Ha <laughs> ha! I almost did, but I didn't. And I'll tell you why. I was looking up some DC books. New 52 style DC. You know I love me some DC. Make mine DC, hippie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, a lot of you know, a um, while back, I did a um, review of the first 12 issues of All-Star Western. And um, it was one of those uh, books that I originally had gotten a lot of, because I got a lot of different books, a lot of big variety to get me back into comic books. Um, my first series that I read to get back into the comic books was All-Star Western. I started with that one because I was intrigued by just a, a cowboy western, Jonah Hex, all these other characters in the book. Um, I love all those side characters that was in the book, um, you know, in the back of the book, and sometimes they crossed with Jonah Hex. So I'm really excited to keep reading of All-Star Westerns. I have issue 13 and 14. I haven't read those yet. Um, but I'll probably end up reading them. I kind of want to get some more All-Star Westerns first. Okay, I've been going and ranting a little bit. Let me get into the title. The title of this video, you may see it right now. It's up above you. It's Justin Gray meets the Great Legend. And so I'm getting, you know, I'm, I got my phone here. Look at that. Orange and blue. Go Broncos. Denver in the house. <laughs> A lot of your comics on the back of the comic. Go New York Knicks in the house. Carmelo Anthony in the house. <laughs> Anyways, so I was on my phone. Um, Captain Phil Cummings, the Captain Cummings. Remember, down below you'll see the link to go to Comic Talk Podcast and watch his greatness um, live. Um, he always is on Twitter, doing stuff on Twitter, um, talking to different authors on Twitter um, to, to get to know them to talk to them about the news, what's going on, because he does all this to, to you know, for Comic Talk Podcast, for the fans. He loves the fans, like me. So I was just messing around, seeing if the captain posted anything on Twitter, and then, I don't know if you'd be able to see this, um, probably not, because it's all white looking, but maybe if I turn the angle. There's a little deal on here, and, and if you have Twitter for the um, iPhone, it says at connect on the bottom. Of course, it's probably not going to show up on this thing here. Um, but I'll show you on a um, screen cap or this screen share. Let me show you screen share. I've got my uh, Twitter um, stuff pulled up. So we'll do some of that. Um, so you can see what I'm talking about. What I'm so excited for. You're asking yourself, a lot of you are asking yourself, well, who's Justin Gray? Who's Justin Gray? Well, let's find out who Justin Gray is. But first, let's check out this. I'm going to do a screen share. I'm pumped for this, people. Oh, yeah. This is the Twitter, my Twitter, 
interaction page. Let me see if it's showing up. Yeah, it's showing up. You see that right there? I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Um, it says Justin V. Gray. It says Justin V. Gray. Let me see if I can zoom close on this. Okay, so it says right here, Justin V. Gray. And I don't I didn't know at first because the V, the V was throwing me off. It says follow. Justin V. Gray says follow at Rdowdy95. This guy is awesome. So here I'm thinking, Justin V. Gray, Justin V. Gray. I've, I've heard that name just today. Justin V. Gray, Justin V. Gray. Um, and I'll tell you what I was looking up with Justin V. Gray today. Well, so what I did, I clicked on Justin V. Gray because I was like, huh, this guy's kind of cool. He's telling others to follow me. And um, so we'll click there. We'll click on Justin V. Gray. Now, a lot of people follow Justin V. Gray, Ghost Critic, Wednesday's Serial, which is our good friend Agent 42Q, and The Gaunt Man, which is our good friend Odd Fellows Thoughts. Now, Ghost Critic is also our good friend, but Ghost Critic on YouTube is Ghost Critic on Twitter. Um, now, Justin V. Gray, he follows me. Look, it says Justin V. Gray follows you. Um, he has all those tweets. He's got a lot of people following. He follows a lot of people, and he's a follower of a lot of people. So he says, just follow this guy. is awesome. He tells the fan, bless you, I miss Unknown Soldier. We had so much fun more to say about the character. And about this time, when he said, this guy is awesome, it helps that he likes all-star westerns. So I went to details. And who, who was that? Who, who, who that? <laughs> this is me. This me. The great legend, baby. The great legend in the house. And this was my video I was talking about. DC's new 52 review. All-Star Western 1 through 12. Written by none other than Justin Gray and Jimmy Palmiati. That's right. <laughs> you see that? Justin V. Gray. And I, I, I um, the only thing I posted on my Facebook page today, let's go back. Only thing I posted today on my Facebook page, um, well, I posted something about Skylanders, but uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. we have Dynamic Comic Duo. They're great posters on Facebook. Okay, where's my post set? See, I'm kind of a noob. Okay, here's what I posted. Um. The Captain Cummings follows one of the coolest guys on Twitter. His name's uh, Robert Laffield. He does a lot of great comics, and everyone loves him at Comic Talk Podcast. This at Robert Laffield. So I knew Robert Laffield was really big. He created Deadpool. He created Cable. He's done so much work. I know he's done work on the the Hawk and Dove uh, New Fifty Two, but that one got canceled. But I asked Robert Laffield today. I said, "Do you know Dan Didio's Twitter name? I really like his work." on Phantom Stranger and I put thanks and see there's a lot of Dan Didio names out there and I don't know which one is the real one so I thought I'd ask another another um, comic book an actual this is an actual comic book author you know but he never wrote me back but today just out of the blue um, out of the blue Justin Gray told people to follow me and since then I've had five people Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, there's Justin Gray's name right there. But I've got Justin Gray and five other followers now just because Justin Gray said I was awesome. And that is the magic of Twitter. If you're a YouTube comic book community user and you don't have a Twitter account, you don't have a Facebook like page or a Google Plus account associated with your YouTube channel, Please, what are you waiting for? Get on the bandwagon. You know, the Captain Cummings, Ghost Critic, Odd Fellows Thoughts, Agent 42Q. I can go on. Oh, this girl named Audrey McQuillan, a.k.a. a comic book mom. Um, Saint Warnado 42. Oh, I don't see your name in here, but... um. Ed of Dynamic Comic Duo has Twitter. This guy named Justin Gray has Twitter. Justin Gray! And I told you, 
what a great, great author he is. Him and his buddy, Mr. Paul Miotti, Jimmy Paul Miotti. They, when they are together, I mean, they make magic happen, people. They make magic happen. So um, let's go on Justin Gray a little bit more. I want to see, I want to see some other stuff he's been doing. Well, this is details, but I want to see what I want to see all of his tweets. Um, let's do Justin B. Gray. So, go to the full profile now. Justin B. Gray, if you're watching this video today, and I'm going to um, send you the message and, and everything. This is. This video is Justin V. Gray, people. Justin Gray meets the great legend. Um, so yeah, I'm not seeing any any, um, any other R. Dowdy 95 references, but we have right there Justin V. Gray. This guy's awesome. See, he's got two. He's he, he's hooked me up twice. So Justin V. Gray, I love you a lot, man. I love. Um, um, I got back into comics, and you were the first kind of long series that I read. So guess what, Justin V. Gray? The Great Legend is going to tell And the Great Legend's already been pumping pumping you up in front of my fans. And, you know, I'm, I'm God bless you, brother. Justin V. Gray, I am now following you. Um, there's Paquette. I, I know him, but I'm not going to follow him just yet because... This is Justin B. Gray, people. It's not no Yannick right now. I may get, I may hook up Yannick Paquette in a little while, but this is Justin V. Gray. Justin V. Gray, and he's here to stay, baby. All right, I'm gonna get off Justin V. Gray, his Twitter page for real quick, and we're gonna get off the screen share. Justin V. Gray. Justin Gray meets the Great Legend. Welcome. If you're just tuning into the Great Legend show, Great Legend is pumped. He has not formally met Justin Gray, but we have an admiration for each other. We have mutual respect for each other. So what I want to show you is um, I've only showed Captain Cummings these because Captain Cummings, God bless him, fought for our country. I'm not going to go into too much details, but he was a captain, and he did his thing on the famous ship known as the Reagan ship. Um, the Navy, man. Navy. Captain Cummings, God bless the captain. All right. What I have right here, um, when I was also getting into comic book collecting, I was looking at war comics. I was going to see if they had a Sergeant Rock, if they had done a Sergeant Rock uh, book. Which they did. It was called Men of War, and I had I had found I got in the game a little late. I actually bought a lot of my stuff in back issue format. Um, I got in the game a little late, and I found out Men of War was canceled. They had like I think it was six issues, maybe with Sergeant Rock, and then maybe some random issues that didn't have anything to do with it. Um, but anyway, so I found another war comic I was going to start reading pretty soon, and I may be reading it. Uh, Probably very soon, <laughs> but I went ahead and I told um, I was talking to Captain Cummings about this. I had seen this comic, and I picked it up during the um, zero issues. It's a or maybe I don't remember when I picked this up, but I found these comics. They're GI combat comics, and because I wanted to read a war comic, and then when I looked at the authors of the comic, it was Justin Gray and Jimmy. Paul Miotti. And I loved the All-Star Western so much. I ran it and raided ra ran it and raved about the All-Star Western because it was really my first book that got me into reading. Um, and not to take anything away, I also did action comics as well. But check it out. Justin Gray and Jimmy Paul Miotti. That's right, people. Where are you going to be? You're going to be right here with the great legend, and we're talking Jimmy Polly Miotti. But we're talking about Justin Gray right here. That's right. Hey, I'm live right now. Don't come in. I'm coming at I'm live. I've only been in here a little bit. I've only been filming a little bit. She thinks I'm leaving my kid or something. 
I don't even know what's going on. They're going crazy out there. Excuse the people behind the curtain. We're talking Justin Gray meets the great legend. Oh my God. Hey, I'm filming here. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> I think I think my kid, you know what? I think my young kid peed himself. I'm just doing a real quick show, quick live show. I think my kid just pooped himself. But I took him to pee a while ago. She said, she said that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> well, he must have pooped himself because he knows Justin Gray is here. <laughs> Justin Gray. Look at this. Justin Gray. This is GI Combat Issue 1. I'm just going to go through these because you know it's all about Justin Gray. Get this cursor in my way. Um, GI Combat Number 2. Also, these GI Combats feature the um, backstories of the Unknown Soldier starting in Issue 3, I believe. Right there. Justin Gray, GI Combat. And I saw GI Combat, the Zero Issue first. I was like, okay, cool, War Comic. Um, Unknown Soldier. Justin Gray, Paul Miotti are on this book. I'm going to read this book because I like their stories. This is issue four, some more Unknown Soldiers. And what do you see about these issues that look kind of interesting? There's dinosaurs in them. Who doesn't love our soldiers with dinosaurs? And then starting in issue five, we have a story about Jack Combat featuring the haunted tank. Um, and the other one is GI Combat featuring the war that time forgot. That's the storyline about the dinosaurs. This art is great. Really good. This is, um, I think it's Howard Chaikin and Staz Johnson. Now, don't take anything away. We also got Peter J. Tomasi also in this book as well. But tonight we're talking Justin Gray. Justin Gray. Um, GI Combat Haunted Tank and GI Combat is finishing up. I've got the next issue which should be coming out Wednesday. Wednesday for GI Combat 7. When I get issue 7 I'm going to read all of those um, all in a row. Um, and I still need to get my All-Star Western uh, 13 and 14 read. So if you're just tuning in, uh, Justin Gray um, didn't really tweet to me but he told everyone on his Twitter page to follow at r 95 This guy's awesome. And he also put another tweet um, about the great legend show. So um, I'm ecstatic. I'm pumped up. Um, I'm going to go to the comments real quick, and then i got to go um, do my own GI combat, if you know what I mean, the gastrointestinal combat because my kiddo, my four-year-old, had a little accident. Um, oh my god, you know what it was? I think I forgot to give him one of those um, lactates and he's lactose intolerant. Damn. Alright, so if you're a parent out there and your kid can't drink milk or do any of that, remember to give them the, lacto the lactate, the chewable lactose intolerant pill. She's going to kick my ass. But Justin Gray, no matter. We still love you. Let's check the comments real quick. Oh, there's something falling down. I'm a 1080p web video camera over here. Let's check the comments. Let's check the comments, and then we'll be on our way. We're going to give you a short show tonight because my wife's mad. We got GI combat in the other room with my son's gastro and intestinal action. I think it's because you told him Rob Blyfield is the Da Vinci of comic book art. Hmm? Could be. That was from Mr. Hippie himself. We have Dynamic Comic Duo watching. Hello, Mr. Legend. We have Mr. Ostentatious watching. Austin, one of the best. He's one of the best at winning the contest, you know what I'm saying? And here he is. I loved eating dinosaurs when I was in the Navy. That's the Captain Cummings, remember? Look down below. I'm going to put both of his links up. One for the Comic Talk podcast, the other for his channel. Contact him if you want to be a member or um, be on the show, Comic Talk podcast. We have Oddfellow's Thoughts. Me and him. We have a me and me and Travis. We have a mutual respect for each other. We both love Justin Gray, and one of us loves Dan Didio. 
and one of them's kind of upset with Dan Didio. Thuggy one is in the house. It's great. Um, Roger six nine five zero one, one of my favorites. He is a Dan Didio fan. Oh my God, my wife is still screaming in there. We have High Iron Mendoza, Brian Statler. I love me some Brian Statler, who won uh, one of the prizes. I think he won the Glow in the Dark uh, Sonic Boom, which after I get the GI track cleaned out in there, I got to go uh, get my packages ready. And everyone's here. Um, thank you so much for watching. I got to go. This has been a breaking news story. Justin Gray meets the great legend. And... Um, I got to go clean up some poop now. So, uh, Justin Gray, man. Justin Gray for life, man. Oh, for life. I don't know what's what because it's all reversed here. But um, pick you up some Justin Gray and Palmiotti. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One other thing. Don't go just yet. Um, there, um, I was doing some research today. Um, it's on my phone. Let me look it up. On Justin Gray and Paul Miotti. And there was a series. I, I look on um, my Lone Star Comics, uh, aka mycomicshop.com, to look at the preview, see what all number one issues were coming out. And one of those issues caught my eye. It was called Human Bomb Number One. Now, I did some research on him. He was one of the freedom fighters back in the day. Um, but this human bomb is going to be a totally different kind of human, or I say human character. He's going to be a totally new school human bomb. Um, he's going to have a four-issue miniseries, and I thought, wow, this looks cool. I saw um, a couple pages from the previews. I think it was either on one of the comic websites. So I was like, okay, this is cool. So I did some research. Who's writing this human bomb? Guess who? Justin Gray and Paul Miotti. The boys are back in town, and they're writing human bomb number one. So I did a little more research. I have the note on here to order The Ray and Phantom Lady. These are both four-issue miniseries. Um, that it, that it came out in, uh, I think the first one, I can't remember which one the first one was. So the Ray family, they both have a four issue miniseries. Human Bomb is going to have a four issue miniseries. So what I think this is, Justin Gray and Palmiotti, Dan Didio, um, Jim Lee, co publishers at uh, DC Comics, they're going to do something called the Freedom. Good night. I can't remember. It's not Freedom Force, it's Freedom Fighters. Wouldn't that be bad? Because I've never read this comic before we're gonna do a little quick one because I I don't want to steer you in the wrong place because some of you don't know the comics like some of our pros do actually screw that let's check the comments okay I want to know is it freedom force or freedom fighters first person to get the give me the correct answer will just I'll just send you a shout out um, so let's refresh this freedom force or freedom fighters which one is it come on people Put me up. Put me up. So I gotta go clean. Freedom Come Fighters. On. There he is, Mr. Travis, one of the guys that I rely on most heavily in his knowledge of DC Comics. Freedom Fighters fans, it's the Freedom Fighters. So they've got, they're doing Human Bomb. It's coming out this week. They've already got a four issue run of Phantom Lady and The Ray, supposedly. These up oh, Howler Mouse. Howler Mouse is here. Howler Mouse is live in the comment section. Another one of the guys I rely on to give me the knowledge of the DC universe. Phantom Lady and The Ray. They're both four issue uh, miniseries. They're already out. I'm going to place my order uh, probably Friday for those uh, eight comics because uh, I don't really have any money in the bank right now. But um, you know what this means? This means bringing all this stuff together. Also, in this Phantom Lady. She has her little sidekick known as Doll Man. And Howler has been talking about Doll Man a lot lately because his name is Doll Man. Can't even remember Howler because it's been so long since she made that video. But his original name was Payne, Mr. Payne or something. Anyways, she said she loves poop everywhere. Okay, so I got to go here, fans. <laughs> Oh, yeah, one more thing. This is the Freedom Fighter Initiative.